Just took a shower. It's the first day. I can't believe it. It's crazy. I'm a junior. What? My hair is soaking wet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the mousse. Okay, hair is done. So now we're gonna move on to skincare. Toner. I love this toner so much. Put it on a little paper towel. Make on top. It is kind of early for my face. Why does it rip like that? Is that weird? Then we just throw that away. Then we go in with my spot treatment. Never miss a day, y'all. I'm kidding on this days all the time. Also, I do want to make sure I prioritize it when I remember. So we're gonna do that. I had to go to my first class and I'm like actually not ready. I never would be ready. Like if I had to choose, I would never go to school. So like that's just not gonna work for me. Like oh, I guess it's good that I'm going. Changing angles, sorry. Now we are going to do. What are we gonna do? Let's do a moisturizer. So this is my moisturizer. And then I take this clear stain sunscreen. It's very good. And then I put it in there and I mix it and I make a little smoothie. See that? And it kind of makes me look more tan, which I love. But also at the same time giving me a more natural glow. Because it's sunscreen in there. Okay. And then sometimes I put it down my neck because like it's a lot. Too much for my face. It doesn't all fit. I want that to look splotchy. And then we're going to rub it in my face. I usually just literally rub it in gently but today i'm just gonna go a little bit more rough it doesn't matter it's gonna be fine it feels so good though on my skin like it's so soft and buttery yeah i usually go over my eyes just to get my eyelids prioritizing sunscreen is so easy though notice a difference in my skin from just like putting it on every day so yeah i mean i don't have i have a double chin i don't have like the greatest jeans when it comes to like sun so like, be careful out there you know it's bad whenever your eyebrows won't get combed with anything but a tiny comb, like an actual comb for your hair. Eyebrows do that, but they just kind of have a mind of their own. Lash serum. So we're gonna apply it on our lashes. And then we are going to go in with my eyelash curler. I'm going to curl those lashes up to make them look more noticeable and beautiful. Oh, I think I accidentally just pinched my eye. Okay though. Okay, now we've got them all curled. I don't know if you can tell, but they're curled. Now we are going to go in. Oh yeah, let's do all the eye care. Okay, Bioma, their eye brighten serum, the best, literally the best. I love it. It's like literally so lightweighted, and you just lightly put it on your eyes. I'm doing like the ugliest faces when I put this on. I just didn't realize. So I'm the limbo right now because this angle is so bad, but the difference throughout the day of it lightening my eyes, and I love that foundation, which is not. I actually got a shade from Barbizon that literally matches my skin tone, which is so cool. But I'm gonna go in with my rare beauty one. Which this one's actually a bit too yellow for me, but it just really has like a really good natural glow. So that's why I like this one. I prefer it over my other ones. It's just really nice. And I love just like washing all my makeup brushes before school starts and like all my all my beauty blenders and all that. It's just so nice. It's like a nice refresh. I literally never wash them, so it's probably bad, but shampoo. Guys, I learned shampoo is the best to wash your brushes with. And then we're gonna keep blending in. I feel like if I don't add foundation in this spot, like you can notice my other scars that used to be there and they just look kind of weird so i just put it there and it kind of lightens up like my eyes or some for some reason like the shadow that goes on my face it kind of just lightens it up so i'm like okay i'll take it so i'm just gonna do that and then my rare beauty blush give it a little shake because it's actually like probably almost out i'm using this thing a lot three dots today because why not oh my gosh i love how all my brushes are clean you gotta smile for this part just to make sure you're going on your cheekbone. You don't actually have to smile, it's just I like to smile because it's fun. So that's all that matters. <laughs> My shirt is so wrinkly, y'all. That's actually really bad. So we're gonna do I just like to conceal because I don't want to get there and realize that I like look really scared or something and I don't have a way to fix it. Because this just lasts all day long. Why wouldn't I do it? And then yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep it light and natural so I don't look too white and ghosty. And we're also going to do a lot of lip stuff. Closer. Okay, there we go. That kind of looks rough. Let's do some more blush on this side because it's kind of literally faded away already. Just weird. We're going to go over that. The blush again. We want it to show up because I want to have those bushy cheeks. Now we're going to go in with my e.l.f. lip gloss. I'm going to a very glossy look today. I literally wish I could wear shorts so long. But the dress code is not shorts, it is jeans, so. So, I just wear pants because that's my only option. And this little comb, just in case I need it. Apply a little bit of mascara. I actually forgot that. I remember the video. That is so comfy. I'm on the bottom lashes too, so I don't look weird. Okay, here's the finished makeup. Here's the lighting, the makeup with better lighting. 
I feel like it's very, it's kind of natural, but also at the same time, why are my eyelashes so spidery? Okay, I'm waiting for these as we go. I changed my shirt because that one's not it. This is what I wore on the last day last year. Okay, so I've got my bracelet. I'm 